everyone, how you doing? We're gonna be doing budget, affordable, brilliant skincare today. <laughs> so I've thought a lot about the, this this week, about which products to put in. And actually some have been more expensive than I thought they were and some not so, and some have been discontinued. Anyway, I've spent the whole morning and I'm really happy with the collection I've got for you all um, to kind of share with you great affordable products that work in my experience, what I share with friends and what I've used. So I hope you will all enjoy my little presentation. So shall we start with cleansers? Right, well, I've got two cleansers first. Uh, Plantastic from Beauty Pie, which is a beautiful butter. This smells amazing. It's got the rosehip oil and the vitamin E, but it smells absolutely amazing because of the apricot. It literally dissolves makeup like no other balm that I've used. Anything that's really heavy on my eyes or lots of makeup with a flannel, it just sweeps off. It is so decadent and so lovely and very, very affordable. And I love, funnily enough, the color. So this is my Beauty Pie Balm Cleanser and I absolutely loved it and have loved it for ages. On the flip side of that, um, if I want to really scrub my face clean, so I might use this in the morning on fresh skin just to really hydrate. Remember, I have super dry skin. So I've got a few other products for other people that does, don't have super dry skin. So if you do, then you'll kind of understand what I mean. Lovely on a clean skin and lovely to really get rid of all that makeup that I may have on my face. And then I'll finish with a really lovely cleanser from Dr. Sam Bunting. Now, Dr. Sam Bunting is um, a skin doctor based in London who has an amazing range um, called Dr. Sam's Flawless Range, all sorts of products. Um, this is £16 and it smells really lovely. It's light pink in texture. It's a gel cleanser. Put it on your skin, obviously, rinse it off, and it's scrupulously clean without being tight. That is key for me, because if I wash my face almost immediately, I look like I can't move. I mean, probably quite good like sort of quite anti-aging <laughs> treatment for me but oh, I can't bear that feeling like if I used to go swimming a lot I haven't done that for a while actually and I know the chlorine makes a difference everything but once I came out the shower I'm like oh, I've just got to get cream on my face it is that instant for me just to kind of get that softness so this clean skin beautifully without that <laughs> tightening effect and it's very very efficient so these two I cannot be without um right so what prompted me to do this um, affordable skincare is that the incredible beauty journalist from The Guardian and all round mega expert, intellectual skin expert, and makeup expert, she's a qualified makeup artist as well, is Sally Hughes. I'm sure many of you know Sally Hughes, especially from um, my followers in the UK. She is a real queen of our industry and she has collaborated with Revolution, to create this wonderful brand. I'll see if I can pick up all five products. Um, it's a range within Revolution and it's all these beautiful pastel colors. Now, the packaging got me straight away. Fortunately, very kindly, Sally sent me every single product in this range and I've been trialing it for the last week or so. I've loved it on my bathroom shelf. I have to say, I was like, oh my God, I just love the packaging, super lightweight. Um, everything is, um, Vegan, cruelty-free, formulated and made in the UK, everything you'd expect, recyclable packaging and no silicones ever. I don't mind a bit of silicone in the right place, um, but Sally does not like silicones and there are no silicones in these products. Super, super lightweight, really nice, all under 15 pounds, took two years to develop. And I think I said this on my Instagram before, what's brilliant is that Sally was loving and enjoying a lot of the formulations of Revolution and was posting about them. And then Revolution saw that she was a fan and then said, please, can we get together? So she's created what I would describe as the coat hanger of skincare. So it's kind of like that foundation that you need to kind of do the basics well. Great cleansing, great vitamin C that's not too strong, it's not gonna irritate, um, a lovely acid, which I'll go through with you in a moment. All these basics, and then you can go off and get a super strong retinol or maybe um, uh, a, a, some, whatever else you want for your skin. Maybe it's an exfoliant or a mask or something, but this would be your staple product. So I'm gonna highlight a few of the ones that I like in the range and also 
for those of you guys in America or Australia, you can, it ships worldwide through revolution.com. So I'll try and put the links through that so that you can all have access to it. In the stores in the UK, it's currently sold out. Um, she's obviously hugely popular and very well respected. And I think everyone's diving in just for a little bit of pastel beauty. So what do I love? I love the names. Obviously she's a journalist, clean sheet morning cleanser. How nice is that? Um, and butter clean. That is the butter balm. And the products, people said they smell like spas to me. I don't, I don't feel the spa thing. I smell fresh, clean baby. Yeah, fresh, clean baby. Sally, I absolutely love it. Fresh, clean baby is up there for me. Snuggly and safe. Um, so my favorites are must see. So this is Sally's vitamin C. Um, so you'll find that this serum is, well, I'll show you. When you put it on, it is a really lovely, quite firm gel product. And you put it on, I haven't had any sensitivity and I get a lot of sensitivity with vitamin C around my neck as well, so I have to be very careful with that. I've used this all the way down my neck onto my decolletage and I've had no sensitivity. What, have I, what I love about this, because I have dry skin, is that it feels so luxurious and very, very hydrating. Um, and my skin holds that hydration throughout the day. Another note, all of these products contain hyaluronic acid. It wasn't something extra Sally wanted to do. This was what she wanted as part, as standard as her range. So the vitamin C is ascorbical glucoside. I think I've got that right which means it's very stable. Um, a lot of um, Sally Hughes's messages were coming through saying, I've bought this really expensive ascorbic acid, vitamin C, um, and it's already gone really dark, which means that it's not stable and it's not going to work anymore. It's already oxidized. So she wanted to make sure that she had a vitamin C that would work gradually and effectively over the whole time of use of this product. Um, all the information is in the box and online so you can find out more about that as well. It also contains ferulic acid, which is a really key antioxidant kind of work with brightness. But texture-wise and results, this is for me. Also, so okay, shall we carry on? To, I'll go on to another vitamin C's. Um, the other vitamin C that I really love is a brand called Garden of Wisdom, and I've definitely mentioned this before. Um, it's a brand that um, has been formulated by um, a health company, which I love, called Victoria Health. They do loads of supplements, great articles. It's run by a doctor and journalist. And this vitamin C is 23% um, and contains ferulic acid. So this is basically a very similar copy to the SkinCeuticals. So very different, similar in texture, um, but you might find that this is a little bit stronger. So this is great if you've got sensitive skin, but you may want to move to that one if you're still not getting the kind of glow or you're spending a lot of time in the sun and you want a stronger vitamin C at 23% and this is under 10 pounds or it is 10 pounds. So um, both contain ferulic acid, like I said, and they're both amazing. Um, so I'll go on to an acid next. Um, and actually, I really struggle to find an acid, really good one for 15 pounds or under 15 pounds. So it, so Sally is going to win this category with Placid. Placid, look at that. So this contains five acids, lactic, malic, glycolic, salicylic, um, salicylic, sorry, and tranexamic acid. It is really, really soft. You do not get, or I haven't had, I need to try it on a couple of other friends, but I tried it on three people um, that have got sensitive skin. Actually, lots of my neighbors are like, can I try that? I'm like, absolutely you can. So it doesn't dry. It's got a really lovely soft slip to it and it doesn't tingle. Or the people that I've tried it on, it does not tingle, but it kind of has this lovely sort of like hydrated um, residue in it, which is um, really, really lovely. I think it must be glycerin. I know Sally is a fan of glycerin. I need to look more at the ingredients, but it feels soft, it doesn't feel stripping. So if you're looking for um, a multi-acid to do multifunctional things for a great price, then Placid is, is where you're at. Um, and I reckon you could probably start using that 
every day. And if you get a bit of sensitivity, then just go to three days a week. Um, but those are my two favorites from Sally's range. Okay, so moving on from that, um, I would then go to a moisturizer. Now the moisturizer that I wanted to share with you, um, I couldn't find. Um, but this is something similar. It's really, really annoying. I had an empties box of things that I've been using. I think these is definitely one for the crew. Um, and it's the Body Shop Vitamin C. Now it's not this one, it's actually the moisturizer because the moisturizer of this um, contains SPF 30 as well. Um, it says for tired, grumpy skin, as does the moisturizer. This is the Skin Reviver. This is too lovely, but I just really like the moisturizer. Um, but I cannot show it to you, but the label is very similar and I will link to it below. But that is a really wonderful hydrating moisturizer that again, with a little bit of vitamin C, um, you just kind of get that boost of hydration that's satisfying, right? That's what you want to put on a product and it kind of to do the job, whether to kind of like clear away and absorb all the oil or to kind of rehydrate what you've lost. And if you don't get that effect, then what's the point, right? Um, so go and visit the body shop. Really, really lovely range, that vitamin C range. Um, other than that, I would suggest for my moisturizers is Willada. You cannot go wrong. Now this is Skin Food Light. Um, Skin Food, the original, um, which I use in my kit a lot, is quite heavy. Um, it is fantastic in the winter, like if I used to go running and it was really windy, I used to put it over my face and I just felt like it was protected. Um, I use it and mix it with makeup if I'm working under lights where I want to kind of create a really beautiful effect. But the Skin Food Light is just all the wonderful goodness of the Waleda moisturizer and that lovely fresh, fresh forest smell. Skin Food Light is just amazing and it's organic, it's affordable and it is just lovely. Now it does say for dry skin, I wouldn't use the light or the Skin Food original on a skin that is sort of combination to oily because you'll just be like, oh, overwhelmed. Um, but if you're looking for nice hydration, it has to be Waleda. Okay, so getting there, we're getting there. Right, so after that, then maybe we'd go for retinol. Now this was really tricky to get one in the right price point. And um, I had to actually call up um, Beauty Pie and say, listen, this is the retinol that I want to um, recommend. And I haven't tried, there's a newer one that's supercharged, but I decided to go against that and go with the Super Retinol Vitamin C um, Renewal Night Moisturizer. Now I know from lots of the reviews that people have absolutely loved this and I'm recommending this to you because it's slightly cheaper, but it's a really good entry point into retinol. Um, so I have used two or three of these. I've absolutely loved it. It's created no sensitivity on my skin at all. And even though my skin is react or can be reactive 100% because I can use quite a lot of strong products that maybe I shouldn't be using. Um, so I do know what works in terms of kind of not creating a reaction, but obviously we're all unique and different on so what I say works for me, it won't necessarily work for you. But if you're looking for a great encapsulated retinol that will work over time at a great price point, I mean, beauty pie, you, you can't go wrong. Um, I do have a code, Caroline B sent me, if you want to join up, it's 10 pounds off the whole year. So you get a membership for the whole year. With my code, you get 10 pounds off and then you get access to all these great formulations. Um, and as I've talked about Youth Bomb, which is out of this price range, I'm afraid, um, uh, it's just great because they are really working with some incredible dermatologists and formulators. Anyway, so that would be my affordable um, retinol beginner's choice um, for this section. Um, so, oh, my sailor water. We didn't talk about that. And you can see how much I have loved and used this. This is new from, or new-ish from V. And gosh, you get so much, 295 mils in this. Um, it's fragrance fee and it is ultra, ultra gentle. Even when I'm using my cellular water, and I'll do it here if I'm at my desk, change my makeup or just to freshen up under my eyes. Even if I do use it to take off all my makeup, because sometimes you just really want to kind of strip it off and then wash your face. I think it's probably more relevant to myself as a makeup artist or if I never give anyone wipes to take their makeup. So if I'm making up maybe a, 
um, a male model or, or an actor, I don't give them face wipes. I'll, I'll soak the um, cotton pads in my cellular wash and then they can take it off because um, I just don't really like the wipes for obvious reasons. Um, and this is super gentle. I do tend to splash most of my cellular water off, but that's just a personal thing for me. But if you're looking for a nice, soft, gentle one that is really gentle on your skin, thumbs up. Great. Okay, so the pile is decreasing, so I can talk maybe just a little bit slower now, but I'm hoping I'm inspiring you all. So going back to other moisturizers, um, there are two by La Roche-Posay, um, Efficlair du Duo and Efficlair Matte. Now the Efficlair Duo here is fantastic if you're suffering from a lot of blocked pores and pimples. Um, I would say spots on, on a very small scale, um, it's not medicated or anything, this product, so, you know, it's not directed for healing, but it's a really good product to use under makeup if your skin is feeling a little bit irritated and grumpy. Um, it's just really, really good. I use it on a lot of my younger clients, around the chin and nose area, and uh, the feedback on this has been brilliant. It sits very well under makeup too. Um, the Efficlair Matte is fantastic if you have combination or oily skin. A lot of the time I will use this around the front panel of an artist's face um, because it prevents me from putting on uh, too much powder. So I'll just place it just around the front panels of the face, in between the brows here and underneath the chin. So maybe if you've got a wedding or you've got an event or you find that yourself, you know, you just get very oily throughout the day, it's great just to place that kind of product, a, a matte moisturiser on those areas. So when it dries, you don't need to worry about you kind of getting too oily because you want to put oily products or hydrating products in those areas where your skin is naturally going to kind of rejuvenate its oil balance anyway. So just having it around that centre pan of your face, and then you can hydrate the outer areas of your face, it's just a bit like a jigsaw, isn't it? Um, but these are just two really great products for kind of focused skincare. Um, so my next one, Tolerane Ultra 8, is just the most delicious facial spritz. And I'm really fussy about the, um, I'm gonna make sure it's not blocked, <gasps> about the spritz. Do you know what I mean? I've had so many lovely products that cost an awful lot of money and I spray myself and I'm either like hose piped, like or it's just gone in one area and gone into my eye. So the mist for me is really key, um, but this is packed with hyaluronic and it is no alcohol in it whatsoever. So if you're kind of menopausal and you've got getting a lot of flushes off, your skin's really dry, or you're working in an office where you just feel that dryness, that air conditioning, or you're flying, this is just a godsend and I will never, ever, ever be without this. It doesn't make my skin feel tight. It doesn't have any fragrance to it, but that works for a lot of people. I love fragrance, but I'm happy not to have the fragrance spritzed over my skin. It really doesn't make any difference to me. I love the feel of this because it doesn't leave my skin tight. Um, my other La Roche-Posay, we've actually got four La Roche-Posay's here. Didn't realize that, but it's such a great brand, right? Um, for bargain, brilliant SPF is the 50 spray. Now ladies, just keep this in your handbag if you're in a sunny climate. I don't use this in the morning, I use it for top ups. Um, I've got quite a lot of sun damage on my chest. Um, I don't like if I'm maybe to sit and have lunch with a friend or I'm caught in the sun or whatever and I've got makeup on, I just use this and I just spritz it over my face. Again, the mist is perfect. I spritz it over makeup on the areas that I want and I feel protected. Absolute brilliant duo, um, and I love these products. And as you know, they've been around for years. If you want a cream, I'm going back to Beauty Pie again, and this is the Featherlight. This is the UVA and UBA Protection 50. Um, it's just fantastic for the price, and I absolutely love it. And I um, really like the sort of packaging. Um, so it's a very unique shape, isn't it? But I just really like the thinness of it. Really, really great product. Right, two more, <laughs> two more. What could they be, they say? Or maybe you don't. I doubt you do. It's like some sort of theatrical show, going a bit, um, going a bit off. Um, sorry, I'm babbling. I've lost my train of thought now. Okay, 
Hand cream. Did you think it was a hand cream? And a lip balm. Now, Paula's Choice, I'm sure you know. Really, really great product. What do you want from a lip balm? And what do we all want from a lip balm? Super, super hydration, right? And I don't want a lip balm that is too um, diluted, that's too thin. I want a lip balm that stays on my lips and stays hydrated, doesn't evaporate or disappear or emulsify within 20 minutes. This just stays on my lips. I absolutely love it. It's brilliant. Can't go wrong. Um, Heath Hand Salve I found in lockdown. It is the most wonderful hand cream ever and I'm obsessed with hand cream. I have them everywhere. Um, I'm trying to th see what it's got in it that makes it smell so lovely but I have sold so many of these. Lavender and mint and she butter. Um, it's just because it's really, really sheeny when you put it on your hands. It smells lovely. It's a really, really great price. Um, and it doesn't make your hands feel like they're kind of encapsulated in some sort of gloopy glove. It just smells amazing and just makes your hands feel, feel lovely without feeling, I don't have the best hands, but you know, with a bit of green nail polish, they definitely improve. Um, it just is such a lovely product. That's all I've got to say about that. You will, you'll know if you try it. And it's, um, it's made in England and it's um, to condition overworked hands. So, I mean, they're not overworked, but um, they could definitely do with a bit of TLC. Anyway, please share your favorite product, favorite skincare product, um, at the most affordable price possible. Um, oh God, I did have two more. Very quickly, just very quickly, bear with me. And I've, I've talked about these before, but don't forget about the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum. That's the one that I did years and years ago. Um, and it's got 2% plus the B5 in it. Um, a really great base product for added hydration to your already existing skincare <clears throat> if you need an extra boost. Um, it's just a brilliant, brilliant support product if you're desperate for more hydration and it's five pounds. And this is the Hydrating Acid Serum, Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum from CeraVe. Great for lips, brilliant pre-lipstick. I've done it before, I'm sure you've seen it. If you want me to do it again, I'm very happy to. But that is a completely different formula <clears throat> to the sort of typical um, hyaluronic that you would see in this one, for instance, in the Beauty Pie, where it's kind of just a little bit, little bit gloopy that stays put and that's why it's great just to fill in for us with those fine lines around the top of my lip or maybe around the sides of my face wherever we have our fine lines it just subtly defocuses them um so yes another two great products and dun 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 dun, dun tsh, tsh. We're done. I should get my son to play his drums actually at the end, so a little finale. No, that'll probably put you all off. But anyway, <laughs> I hope that's been good. And like I said, please add your favorites too, because I love to know what to use and I'll just end up getting some more. And I'll probably just be repeating and reporting back on what you guys have said. But anyway, it's lovely to share. I'm really waffling. Have a great day. Bye for now.